Jen. Don't, Jen, for it. No. Ma. Why are you worrying her? 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 Why are you
Kingdom or from Navan uh, or uh, from Wicklow. On occasions such as this, I often say that if you are a foreigner from Fingers or Fairview, you're welcome. <laughs> and I have to be careful how I say this. I used to say if you're an alien from Ashburn or Arklow, but I will change that to a tie, <laughs> you're welcome. And of course, if you're local, you know you're welcome. So, how do we celebrate marriage here in church? Well, we have had the first part already, where the grand entrance of the, um, the bridesmaids and the uh, page boy and the little flower girls in all their splendour. And then the entrance of the bride in all in even greater splendour. And then we had the handing over ceremony. And that's the ceremony that's rooted in ancient history in the marriage rites. It goes back about 45,000 years. And there's a trace of it found in, in uh, Greece and Rome. Uh, in the Hebrew marriage tradition and uh, uh, further back than that. You'll learn as you go along how the traditions of marriage, how old they are and how they've been incorporated within this uh, celebration. Uh, we listen then to, after the opening prayer, we listen to the Word of God and uh, then comes the marriage rite. Uh, the marriage rite will involve uh, the priest saying the words, uh, bride and groom then exchange their consent, the rings are blessed and exchanged, and uh, so is the coin. And that's a custom that goes back to Greek and Roman times and is 3,000 years ago. Then we have the Austrian procession, we'll explain what that is, the, uh, the forming of the human chain, uh, which I call the chain of love. From the mobile, we shall return the law, please. Uh, reach the middle of the bride and groom, then in a married house, somebody said, you know, so we would appreciate the conversation and that. And we open with a special service, the service of life. When uh, David and Amanda were baptized, they, uh, they were given into the care of parents and godparents. The symbol of that was lighting a candle. Now, two other Christians, they come to the altar of God and they would light a candle each. Then after the marriage vows together, they would light the third symbolizing their union not only with each other, but also in God.
Thanks be to God. A reason from the letter of that one part of the speech is, you are God's chosen race, saints, he loves you, and you should be told in sincere compassion and kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another, forgive one another, and fill it with part of the end. The Lord has forgiven you, and now you must do the same. Over all these thoughts, to keep them together and keep, and keep them put on the love. I mean, the peace of Christ reign in your heart because of this, of this that you are called together to pass the word of Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all its <coughs> With gratitude in your heart, sing hands and hands and inspire service to God. And never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But please stand now and greet the gospel.
the love of man and woman is made holy in the sacrament of marriage and becomes the mirror of your everlasting love. And now follows the solemn nuptial blessing the church upon David and Amanda. And in this we will repeat an old Jewish marriage custom. Many of you no doubt have made jokes about tying the knot. Tying the knot is the origin of the Jewish marriage right. And we call on God's blessing on David and Amanda in this simple but uh, symbolic uh, ceremony. Let us now ask God to bless Amanda and Damien, now married in Christ, and unite them in his love through the sacrament of his body and blood. God our Father, creator of the universe, you made man and woman in your own likeness and bless their union. We humbly pray to you for Damien and Amanda today, united in the sacrament of marriage. May your blessing come upon them. May they find happiness in their love for each other, be blessed in their children, enrich the life of your church. May they praise you always in their days of happiness and turn to you in times of sorrow. May they know the joy of your help in their work and the strength of your presence in their need. May they worship you with the church and be your witnesses in the world. May old days come to them in the company of their friends. May they reach at last the kingdom of heaven, this prayer we make through Christ our Lord. As together say the peace prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another Christ's healing peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, God is peace. And may the mixing of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the eternal love to us be received. This is Jesus, Son of God and Saviour. He is the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. So happy are we who are called to share in his life and in his love. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
day, may he bless you and your family and friends. Amen. Christ loves the church to the end. May he fill your hearts to overflowing with his love. Amen. May he give you the grace to bear witness to his resurrection and look forward to his coming with hope and joy. Amen. And may the peace of Christ ever dwell in your home. May the angel of God protect us. And may the Holy Family of Mount be its model and inspiration. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. And I ask uh, David and Amanda to come forward to the sign of the rest of the day. Let us tell them to be seated.